Nonja, where are we? It's a festival. Okay. <laughs> Hi guys. Hello. Here we are in Konken and today I'm going to introduce you to my new series about food. Of course I'm in Thailand right now so naturally I should be trying some of the local Thai cuisine. So we just went to the silk market in Konken and we bought some goodies and so yeah let's have a look what we got. So can you tell us what we bought? This is the first thing we're going to eat today. Get a whole one. So, Ja, what is that? Food hot. Okay, in English, what is it? Uh, crab deep fried. So, deep fried crab is the first thing we have. So, we've got a big bag of these for only 20 baht from the market. Really cheap. Hopefully cheerful. Let's, uh, let's give it a go. Hopefully it's delicious. Sounds very crispy and very crunchy. Cheers, there we are. Mm. Mm, quite good. Really, really crunchy, really crispy. I think they have a powder on it, which is a bit salty. And it's really deep fried. It's not bad, it's an interesting snack. Probably be quite nice with a beer or something. Or an afternoon snack. How would you describe it? Oily, but a bit oily. Oily, but so delicious, but a bit oily. It comes from the, the Thai expert here. <laughs> so, yeah, would you try some crab? Let me know in the comments below. So, our food item number two. So, Ja, what is this? Kaji. It's sticky rice, which is like put sticky rice deep in uh, egg and then just screw it. And obviously, some places do put a lot, a, a bit salt. What's the Thai name? Khao ji. Khao ji. Ji is cream in Do you want to show them inside? So you can see some, some, some rice, quite oily. Um, yeah, looks delicious though. Let's give it a go. How is it? Hello. It's a bit hard. No, it's not fresh. It's meant to be hard. Well. Okay, so ours isn't so fresh, so it's a bit hard. Also a bit cold. I mean, we bought this about 30 minutes ago and then came back here. So, obviously it's much nicer when it's fresh off the grill and hot. It's quite nice. Yeah. Nice little, again, nice little snack, or you could have it as like a... So what I used to do, I used to have fried chicken, well, not fried chicken, grilled chicken. And I'd have some grilled chicken, gai yang, and what's it called? Khao ji. Thai, khao, khao ji. Very Isan dinner, and really nice. You've got your carbs, your protein, happy days. Mm, I like that. Mm. How would you rate that out of 10? Um, eight. Mm. Mm. How much did we pay? Um, seven baht per piece. Hmm. So, only seven baht. Very cheap. So yeah, it's quite hard. A bit salty. But it's a nice, different, you know, meal from having just having normal rice. It's good in like it's something new. Like it's cold. Mm, yeah, like, good for cold weather. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. And it's very, from where we are, we're in Isan area, and this is very local Isan food. You can get it everywhere else, but mm. it's typically from this region here. What should we try next? You choose. This one. This one. What is the last? Well, that one. Ah. This one, can I? Okay. So, item number three. Here we have, what is this? Um, so it's basically like pork, like pork scratchings if you're from the UK, you know what a pork scratching is. It's essentially just deep fried pork rind. Actually I love these. 
They're a really nice little snack, especially with beer. Beer? Yeah, absolutely. You have pork scratchings all the time oh. with beer. Hmm. Really crunchy. I don't know if you can hear it. But it's quite salty. Mm. And it's generally really delicious. I, I like I said, I love this. I could eat that all day. So these are three snacks you can try in the market. You can find them in most markets. Back to number four. Here we have what? That there. Okay, so they're also known as silkworms. I mean they're they're I mean if you're afraid of bugs, maybe turn away. <laughs> but they're they're like little grubs, I guess. I guess grubs. Well they're silkworms. Silkworms. And we got a big bag of these again for 20 baht. So really cheap. Um, right, should we try it? I've had these before. They're actually not bad. Mm. Before they stir, they spray a uh, um, soy sauce on So oh. it's really like soy sauce taste. Oh, okay, so there you go. So normally spray soy sauce on it mm -hmm. before it's served. But yeah, it's quite, again, quite oily. Actually, like, so she's really enjoying them. <laughs> So Thai people love these. Like you see a lot of Thai people having beards and just eating insects at the same time. I mean, for us Westerners, it's really weird and really crazy. But I can see why it's cheap. A nice cheap snack. Obviously, you've got loads of protein in here, so that's quite good. And it's really weird because it sort of pops in your mouth. It's like for me, it's like a bean. It tastes like a bean. If you have kidney beans, I think I think it's kidney beans, right? Kidney beans. Maybe. Some, some kind of bean, I'm, I'm sure it's kidney beans it tastes like. Similar to that. Yeah, just, just think of it as eating beans. See, I'm quite happy to eat them. Nice little crunch as well when you bite into it. But yeah, quite good. I mean, personally, I would give this a maybe a 7 out of 10. Mm -hmm. I quite enjoy them. Same. Good value, very cheap. You get a lot of them, as you can see. I think this is about the, this is the bag, right? Yeah. So all this was 20 baht. Okay, and our next item. So this is very famous from where? Petchaburi City. Petchaburi, which is near Bangkok, right? Yeah. So this is from Petchaburi City. Very, very famous brand. It's actually a dessert, like a cake. I'll show you the inside. So it looks like this. So what's inside it? What do we have? Um, I think inside is the um, egg and I'm not sure something else like powder. I don't know how to make. <laughs> Just know how to eat. I imagine it should be quite sweet. I hope. It's very sweet. Very it's sweet. Dessert. Dessert. Very okay. Good. Should we dig in? Mhm. Mm so I've never had this before. This is my first time. This cost. 45 baht for this mm. particular cake. I love The queue was really long to buy this as well. A lot of people were buying from this particular shop as well. So, Ja keeps on eating. So, how would you rate it out of 10? 9. 9? Wow. Can I get a big dollar? Cheers. Mmm, wow. Quite sweet, mm. very very light, really light. Mm. This would be nice after a heavy meal, I think. I could quite easily eat all this, and I don't think I'd feel much fuller. But really nice and sweet. You can definitely taste the egg. It's delicious. Actually, it's delicious. I think I'd also go with a nine out of ten. If you do see this, definitely buy it and give it a go. It's very very good. I don't know in English, but in Thailand is kind of okay. How do you translate that? Um, kanom is just dessert. Mm. Mo gang, it's just a pot. I don't know, pot is name was mo gang. So, not sure how to translate, but if you come in Thai, just say that you, where you can find kanom mo gang. Mm, okay, there you go. Learned something new today myself. So, this is what we got from the market today. We didn't spend much money. We got a whole meal for two. 
We've got the crabs for 20 baht, the kawaji, the sticky fried uh, rice, well, not, no, sorry, grilled rice, mm. sticky grilled rice with uh, egg. 20 baht. For 20 baht, I think for three pieces we got. We got the uh, pork rind for 30 baht. 35. 30, 30 baht, right? 35. 35 baht for a big bag. The silkworms for 20 baht. And then the dessert, the delicious cake for 45 baht. So, quite a cheap shop and lots of little snacks. Probably finish this off with a couple of beers. And yeah, happy days. So, this is our first video for a new food series. If you did like it and if you want to see more videos like this, please give me a thumbs up. And I'll, if you want, you can even suggest some foods that you want us to try in the future. But yeah, but all the food here is definitely edible, pretty delicious and cheap, cheap and cheerful. So if you do find yourself in a Thai market, definitely try some of this and I'm sure you won't regret it. Right, thanks a lot. Please subscribe. Bye bye.